drone returned. Get the drone back! We're losing this fight! We've lost the drone! Drone dropped! UAV recon standing by. Drone returned. Drone acquired. Drone returned. The enemy has the drone. Orbital care package on standby. Warbird above! We've lost the drone! The enemy has the drone! Friendly UAV above. Drone return. <laughs> the enemy has the drone. UAV ready. Drone return. You've got the drone. We're losing this fight! Drone delivered! UAV recon standing by. Lost the drone! We've got the drone! Get the drone back! You've got the drone! We're losing! Enemy UAV online! Drone delivered! We've got the drone! UAV recon standing by. Remote drone transfer success. Friendly UAV above.
The enemy has the drone! Orbital care package on standby. Get the drone back! Walking care package coordinates. So there we go guys, that's over 6 minutes of early Call of Duty Advanced Warfare sniping gameplay using the only sniper that was available at the early gameplay capture event. Let me know what you're thinking of it. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it only ever has one bullet. You've got to reload each time you actually shoot it. Uh, so it's a little bit different to the normal bolt actions, but it looks very similar and uh, feels very similar to previous Call of Duty bolt action snipers. All of the footage was taken from the exact same map, I've got tons more maps Maps, tons more weapons, tons more footage to share with you guys, so make sure you're subscribing, but I knew a lot of you guys would be wanting to see some sniper footage. Now, a lot of these clips are literally the first time I've used a sniper, because as I said, it was all used on the same map. I managed to get myself some pretty good kills. I would say that um, if you're a good sniper and you're able to shoot as soon as you zoom in, which is technically called quick scoping, you can get away with it for sure, but with all of the new movement mechanics, such as boosting and vertical jumping, you should probably spend a little bit more time thinking about the shot that you're about to make and try to lead the shot. What I ended up doing with a lot of the shots if they jumped in the air was actually let them re their, reach their peak, wait for them to start to fall down and then pick them off with an easy shot. Uh, I did get hit markers, I think the hit markers were only on uh, their hands or the lower part of their legs so generally it was a one, uh, one hit kill which I think most snipers will be happy to hear. Now as I said, this was the only sniper within the um, build of the game that I got to play here at Gamescom in Germany. Uh, there will definitely be more weapons and I'm sure more snipers, I'm sure there'll be some semi-automatic snipers. As you can see me pulling off a nice quick shot there, I was kind of impressed with some of the kills I got, not going to lie. Uh, hopefully you guys like it, let me know uh, which gameplay you'd like to see next, would you like to see some of the laser energy powered rifles, some submachine gun gameplay, kill streak gameplay, I've got loads of footage to share with you guys, so if you've got a certain order, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll try and prioritize that for you guys. For my secondary, I was actually using a very unusual pistol. If you haven't seen the trailer already that I broke down, it'll be linked in the description and you get to see the pistol in action. The pistol is almost like a bolt action pistol, but it's not really. Um, you only ever have one bullet and one shot. In all honesty, I shouldn't have partnered it with my sniper. It doesn't make sense as a secondary at all, um, but it was just a lot of fun to switch to and muck around with. Uh, and it was generally a one hit kill, as long as you're fairly close from about medium to long ranges, it does start to drop off and you'll see me get a few hit markers with it as well. Here I go on a really nice uh, streak where I actually use like almost one weapon per kill. I was just picking things up, moving around, trying to avoid as much uh, enemy fire as possible. Now, this game definitely feels fast paced. Uh, when you see more gameplay on my channel, you'll realize that the weapons definitely have some recoil and some kick to them. You've got to make sure you're controlling it. Um, and on top of that, the new mechanics make the game very, very fast paced. With the vertical jumping, the boosting, uh, gunfights are very, very intense. You've got to be on the ball, and if your accuracy is good, you should be probably winning that gunfight and previous Call of Duty um, uh, experience will definitely help uh, to actually boost from side to side or boost in the air. You don't see me do it too often because it's fairly awkward and uh, it's sort of like a new mechanic that I just wasn't used to. You have to um, double tap your left analog stick and move in a direction side to side if you want to do it on the ground or just in a direction you want to move if you're in the air and uh, it's a useful mechanic and it's going to help you in gunfights if you want to get out of a gunfight. I used it more defensively than offensively uh, to get out of a gunfight and sort of just dodge out of cover um, and uh, yeah it's very interesting, you'll see it in some of more of my gameplays. Um, let me know what you guys think of the new movement mechanics, it's definitely going to separate this Call of Duty from other Call of Duties. Now the sniper I was using you can actually get um, the iron sights and I got some clips with it, I just haven't had a chance to edit everything together. You're going to be seeing here pretty much just one game game 
and all the sniping highlights from that game. Um, and once I get a chance to have a look at all my other footage uh, and break it all down, because I'm doing all the editing on the fly at the moment here in Germany for you guys, uh, you can take a look at that as well. Definitely a lot harder with the iron sights. The scope is definitely the preferred way to go in terms of attachments for the sniper rifle. Um, there's loads of kill streaks, loads of attachments, loads of perks, loads of that good stuff. I'm going to be covering all of that here on my channel, guys. Um, but because I'm out in Germany and the internet here is kind of rubbish, basically everything's just going to be spread out so don't feel like you have to come and like watch 50 videos in one day there's just going to be loads of advanced warfare videos over time for the next few weeks and pretty much for the whole period leading up to the call of duty advanced warfare uh, actual launch on the 4th of November. Um, now here we get in a really funny gunfight. I'm trying to outplay this guy and get just a single shot off on him using my pistol. But he ends up jumping close to me and I'm like, you know what? Let's go in for a melee. This is the first time I'd ever tried to melee a player. The other guy can't hit me. I can't hit him. And eventually I finally get the hit on him and finally manage to kill him. But I honestly thought melee was broken for a second there. But in all honesty, it's a good thing. The melee, you literally have to be staring directly at them. You have to have forward momentum going into that person otherwise that melee is not going to connect and you're not going to get yourself an easy kill but the game's coming towards an end here I wanted to try and pick off a few people just as the game ended and I managed to do so using my secondary um, using my pistol and you can see here where it got a hit marker as well to sort of give you an idea of the range of the weapon but if you can be deadly accurate, you can definitely get some nasty, nasty kills. But guys, we're coming towards the end here. Give it a like if you have enjoyed it. That'd be really, really appreciated. Make sure you're subscribing for all the latest Call of Duty gameplay and information. It's been a pleasure to share this with you guys. Check out some more videos very, very soon. And I'll see you guys next time.